Perhaps surprisingly, even though we know what testing does, there are completely different motivations for testing depending on what kind of software quality you expect. We all know that the point of testing is to try and find bugs. But the question is, why are you trying to find the bugs, and what do you do once you find a bug? For testing low-quality software, which includes possibly everyday IT-quality software, where eh, if it doesn't work every single time, it's probably okay as long as it works most of the time, the point of testing is really, it sounds like debugging. You test, you find a bug, you remove a bug, and you keep going until you run out of time because there always seems to be one more bug. The question is, how many bugs are left after this? Let's say you have 100,000 lines of software and you run some tests and you remove 10,000 bugs and you're done testing and you can't find any more bugs with your tests, how many bugs are left? Well, you don't really know because probably your tests missed some things, but it's really a bad bet to say there are zero after 10,000 bugs, probably didn't catch them all. Now again, this may be okay for everyday quality software, but that software is gonna have some bugs in it and you're just gonna to have to live with that. In contrast, if you're building a life critical system where someone could die if your software doesn't work, you don't wanna be out there testing, removing bugs, testing, removing bugs, and just sort of giving up when you can't find anything because you really have no assurance that the remaining software actually has a sufficiently low number of bugs to, to be considered safe, preferably zero. Instead, when you're testing safety critical software, you take a completely different view. The purpose of testing is not to find and remove bugs. It's not about debugging. Rather, the purpose of testing is a quality check on all the design processes you used. You hope that all bugs have been removed via peer review, unit test, integration test, and all those other things. So by the time you get to system testing, you should not be finding any bugs at all. The system test is to prove the hypothesis that the software is basically perfect. Product level tests in a high critical or high dependability embedded system should never find a software bug. If you find a bug, it doesn't just mean, oh, there's a bug, let's fix it. It means that somehow this bug made it through all these different verification and validation procedures to the point where something must be broken in your process. So when you're testing safety critical software and you find a bug, yeah, sure, fix the bug, but that's actually not the point. The point is, how come you didn't find that bug in peer review? How come you didn't find that bug in unit test? How did that bug slip through? And so when you're testing safety critical software, you treat finding a bug in product test as an all hands emergency that your process is broken and you need a big fix to make sure that all the other bugs that must have slipped through also got taken care of. That's in stark contrast to everyday software where testing is basically debugging.